Hey guys, and welcome to an Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to create a sprinting mechanic in Unreal where you press or hold a button to sprint. Uh, I should also be adding in a stamina bar and having that decrease and regenerate and stop for you from sprinting if you run out. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up a first person template or the game that you're making and you're going to want to go into edit, project settings, wait for it to load, and then go into input, should be down here somewhere, there. input, action mappings, create a new one, call it sprint, and then have it as left shift or whatever you want. And the good thing about doing this way is you can make m multiple ones for different uh, consoles. So you can do like Xbox, PlayStation, computer, whatever. I'm just going to keep it as left shift for now though. And you close that. And you're going to want to go into your blueprints, first person character. Let me just put that on this monitor. And then down here, you're going to want to create some variables. First one, call it stamina, and have this as a integer. This is so it can be a numerical value. And then you make a new one called uh, sorry sprinting question mark or is sprinting or are you sprinting something like that. Make it boolean so this can be a, a true or false, yes no, simple like that. And you're going to want to hit compile. So what you're going to want to do now is uh, right click, type in sprint and that creates the new action event that we just created and off press you're going to want to get a branch and this is just to check that you have enough stamina to sprint. So in the condition you want to get a greater than or equal to, if I could spell, greater than or equal to on an integer, so that one. And then just move this to where you want. And so the top here, true, is going to be where we go for the sprinting bit, and the false is going to have nothing because if you don't have enough stamina, you don't want it to do anything. And so then you're going to want to reference the stamina integer variable, sorry, we made earlier. I uh, just want to drag it in and put get, and then put that in the top there for the greater than or equal to. Then off true, we're going to want to do set sprinting, which is the boolean we created earlier, and we're going to want to set it to true, so just tick that box there. And then you're going to want to come up to the top left here and reference the character movement, and then drag that bit out and do set max walk speed. And the default, and then just plug that in there. Uh, the default number for this is 600, so if we just put it as 1000, can test this out later, see what it looks like. Just mess about with it yourself, get the perfect number for you. But that should be faster. You're going to come back down here, off release, you're going to set sprinting and leave it as false, so uncheck like that. And then set max walk speed. Oh, sorry, you're going to need to reference the character movement again. Set max walk speed and put it back to the default of 600. And plug that in there. Uh, you could just copy and paste that and then change the default value in there. Uh, also, while I remember, if you get the stamina, you can set the default value. So I'm going to set it to 100. Again, you can change it to what you want. And the default for this is false, so like that, yeah. So then let's just compile this, and then we can test it. If we go back here and press play. Just wait for it to load. So, you see this is normal walking. And this is sprinting. You can see it's slightly faster. So again, you can change it to however you want, different speed, and you simply just do that by changing this value here. So you have it to a thousand, or if you wanted, ten thousand, which is obviously can be very fast. But there you go. Just to prove it works, I just change that back to a thousand. Now there we go. Compile that again. So that's the basic sprinting mechanic. I'm just going to put a comment on that. Put sprinting. There we go. Just to make it easier so you know what everything does, like over here. And then what we're going to want to do is use the event tick mode. 
which I haven't used already now. And this is to check the stamina at every tick, which is every frame in game. So if you're running the game at 60 FPS, at 60 frames per second, then we check the stamina 60 times every second. Although we're going to change this later on to every 0.2 seconds as it's going to be easier on your PC, it's less demanding because you don't need to check every second. So every 60 times every second. Uh, now if you've already used the event tick mode then you're going to want to get a sequence and then you can plug that back into what you already have and then go off then one. But as I haven't used it yet I'm just going to go straight off this. So what we're going to do is want to get another branch and this is to check if the character is sprinting or not. If they are then we'll decrease the stamina and if they're not then we'll regenerate stamina or do nothing if the stamina bar is full to whatever you set it as, which mine was 100 as a default value. And what you're going to want to do is set in the sprinting as the condition here. Just put that down there. And then off both true and false you're going to want to put a delay of 0.2, which is the default there. Which is what I said earlier is this means it doesn't do it 60 times every second, just one every 0.2 seconds. And then once you've done that you want to go off the true branch up at the top. After the delay you're going to want to put another branch and have the condition as a less than or equal to integer, which is that one there. And for the top value you're going to want to have stamina and the bottom just leave it zero. So this means that if the stamina is less than or equal to zero then it's going to stop sprinting. And off this true one here you're going to want to drag off and set sprinting to false. So leave it unchecked like that. And then you want to reference the character movement again set max walk speed and put it back to the default of 600 and plug these all in to the appropriate places there like so and what you want to do now is just move this up give yourself a bit more space and off this false here you're going to want to set stamina and off the stamina here you're going to want to do an integer minus an integer and that there you're going to want to reference stamina and leave that as one so this basically means that when you're running, it's going to decrease the stamina by 1 each time. So you can have this as well if you want, so like 1, 5, 10, whatever, but I'm just going to leave it as 1 for now. Let's just make sure you can't sprint forever, so it, every 0.2 seconds it will check to see if you have less than or equal to 0 stamina. And obviously if you do, it will stop sprinting, and the way it checks that is this will take it down to 0 or less than. And then we're going to do the regeneration of the stamina. So what you're going to want to do is go back to the original branch, go off the false, off the completed, do set stamina for the condition there. You're going to want to do integer plus integer now instead of minus. So this is basically the same as this, instead, but you're adding one instead of taking one away. And here you're going to want to reference stamina. Uh, there we go, plug that into the top, and then there, leave it as one or again whatever you want it to be. So you can have it as 5, 10, but I'll leave it as 1. And then that's it. So again I'm just going to move this down, comment on it, do stamina, just so it's easy to see what you've done. I hit compile, press play, and then you see the sprinting works. I'm just going to keep running until I run out of stamina. And as you can see, I ran out of stamina, so I started going back to the normal speed. And if I let go of shift, it should regenerate, and now I can sprint again. So that works. Another easy way to check is to just off here do a print string and a string. And here you're going to want to just do the stamina, so drag that in there, get, put that in, should convert it. And then you can do the same up here for sprinting. So I just do uh, print string, get sprinting boolean, plug that in there, hit compile, and we play. You see, you got the stamina that's going down. delete these because these are just for testing but as you see it does work right okay so as you can see uh, what actually happens is that the stamina keeps on regenerating up beyond the hundred which is the max limit 
I set because you haven't actually set for it to not go above that it will just keep on regenerating as long as you're not sprinting and so to fix that all you've got to do is just move this over to give yourself a bit of space like so and then you're going to want to come out of the delay and what you're going to want to do is come out of the delay the completed get another branch just to check to see how big it is how big the stamina number is and then get an integer is less than or equal to and the top number you're going to plug in the stamina and the bottom you're going to put it as your max value which I put as 100 and then we're going to compile play just to test and there you go you see it stays at 100 it's gone up to 101 but that's fine because you you can just change your value down by one for that to be set so there we go that will be it it all works out perfectly we've got this sprinting mechanic in so you hold shift you can run around like so and it will the stamina will go down while you're sprinting when you stop sprinting it will go back up again and regenerate up to a maximum of 100 or whatever you set it as so uh, thank you i think that'll be it for today i uh, hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one